at the time, I think we were just waking up and living very much day by day and realizing that everything we had worked up to and that, until that point was really up in question. Our approach to business, our approach to analyzing companies, our, our license to operate, um, and it was a, such an uncertain time. Frankly, I think we were all culpable. Um, people who borrowed too much money, obviously, but the financiers, the financial system, the way it operated, I think uh, bears the largest share of the burden of blame. Uh, clearly, to quote you know, the, uh, the saying, you know, people were dancing until the music stopped. A lot of people could see that actually there was stuff going on, particularly around the sort of subprime lending that really ultimately catalyzed the whole thing that really was stretching credibility in terms of what could be sustained. But of course, it was a classic example of people thinking for the short term. And I do think we bear a lot of responsibility in the city for that. Because so I think the global financial crisis, the lessons learned um, a very much unfinished business. And there was a knee jerk reaction, uh, the right reaction to shore up the global financial system that had to be done emergency measures put in place, etc. That was a right approach. And there was a sense of crisis that, you know, ultimately helped to get things like diversity and inclusion. People thinking actually groupthink was to blame, at least in part, for the lack of challenge that had led to the crisis. But what we haven't done is really, in, as the sort of you know, the calm descended, to then think actually we must do all we can to prevent this ever happening again. And we must look at the sort of further back and look at what we need to change about how we knit together the real economy, as people put it, and the financial economy. And I think that is where, you know, we're seeing at the moment, obviously, a political backlash still, the rise of populism that is often, you know, criticised, but actually is, I think, a symptom of us not having resolved an even more inclusive financial system. I do believe that actually, you know, the lesson we should have taken, and to some extent have, but not enough, I think, was that actually having um, one type of person, um, one type of sort of mentality around how things should operate is not the right answer. It cannot be the optimal team to have just one group of people. Um, gender imbalance was one of the obvious failings. And I do think women approach problems differently sometimes. They're thinking a little bit more collaboratively. Uh, you know, it's been proven or shown at least that often companies that have more women at the top on their boards are more attuned to corporate social responsibilities, it's called. It's not the only answer, it's not the only problem to solve, but I think it's a good place to start and it's and it's not been resolved to date. I do think the 10 year anniversary is a significant moment. I think it is a time, rightly, for re re retrospective, you know, thinking about have we done enough? I hope that's one of the things that as people look back and think actually, you know, that was a very scary moment and, you know, in the midst of a crisis, you take certain actions and then you get a bit complacent and a bit relaxed and business settles back as usual. And I'm hoping that the decade on makes people think again about whether we've really done enough to avert such problems in the future.